Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been a so long I met you all. Um, <clears throat> so in this video, uh, I'm gonna show like how I completed uh, my Google Cloud certification on Associate Cloud Engineer. And also I've done so many other trainings. I'll also let you know like, uh, like to keep you uh, engaged with the learning curve okay so before that i'll show my certificate so this is the certificate i got from google um, so I'll, I'll explain how to register for the exam or how to prepare and what assessment we can go through in order to clear the certification okay let's go jump in so the first part is the preparation so as part of the preparation what I have done is I have taken a course in Udemy. Uh, the course was uh, a GCP Associate Cloud, I guess. GCP Associate Cloud Engineer. Yeah. <clears throat> so this was the course. Yeah. I got the course from him, um, Ranga Karnam. So. Uh, th this is not a promotion or something for this course but I felt like it's a good course to go through and I've uh, there are uh, really uh, much of um, a practical uh, way of uh, learning in this course I learned a lot I mean, like I spent around two, two to three months in this course uh, because like it's not uh, something like you can learn uh, in some theories it's something that you have to work out every day what are the concepts which you're learning in this course you have to go through you, I mean like into the Google Cloud console and you have to work out all this stuff so then only you will be able to you know grasp everything and you can also clear the exam okay so this is one course which I felt it it is uh, you know much understandable by me and uh, it's also easy to understand and everything everything is included in this course for associate cloud engineer and he's also having a certification I mean like the um, the course on us uh, architect and everything so you can also go through and um, you know just browse through this Udemy and you can also find all the other courses whatever available you feel free to you know browse through this okay and the next part uh, this is what uh, I recommend the course and the assessment uh, <coughs> when I when you uh, in a when, oh, when I gave the exam the exam was completely uh, kind of uh, uh, you know scenario based questions so you have to be uh, prepared enough you know to understand the scenario and answer them uh, I was doing the course in uh, Udemy business so I got some assessment questions some like you will be getting a uh, 30 uh, random questions per time so I did that um, assessment I think before the exam I did it for three days uh, in that way I was able to understand the scenario based questions and answer them uh, I can also cross verify the uh, answers which I was able to I'm um, giving in the Udemy business so so that that's one more thing that uh, helped me in you know understanding the questions and the scenario based questions to adapt with it so that also you can try okay uh, next comes the registration for the GCP examination uh, for that you just have to go to the Google cloud at Google certification okay uh, this is the associate but you can see the uh, path for the certification uh, the path is kind of a Google digital certification and then the associate and the professional okay so this is something the foundation the cloud uh, digital leader and that doesn't need that much of exposure to cloud and the associate yeah it really needs some of your exposure on cloud you should have some knowledge then only you can clear this okay. 
and the professional you should have in depth knowledge on you know advising uh, the architecture and you know advising them on um, efficient uh, cloud architecture for the organization so in that level it will be okay so there are so many other uh, other professional certifications available cloud architect developer cloud engineer data engineer devops security and lot more okay we can explore everything uh, for now i have done this associate certification so let us go inside this cloud engineer so in this certification um so after you have done all the stuff like uh, preparation and everything you can go inside register once you go here so if you don't have an account you can create one okay i already created one so i'll just log in with that okay so once you log in you'll be able to see the screen so you can register for an exam you can also f uh, find the receipts which you have paid already so you can also find the assessment which you have given so i've given exam um, november okay so i got the exam here and then you, you also see, you can also see the result here okay <coughs> and you can go for register an exam and you can see the list of examinations available the certifications uh, first one is a digital leader um, if you are you know going for a procurement center that's the on-site protect protracted okay and procured and this is the rec uh, remote procurement so here you know i've done it through this so they will be verifying you before the examination they will you know um, they'll be on the video video call we ha you have to show the room whatever belongings you have near you is there any notes or something that you have in with you or uh, your uh, mobiles phones are with you everything they will verify and then only they'll allow you to do the examination okay the cost of the certification for associate is 125 dollars it's around uh, 8000 8000 odd i guess uh, in inr okay you can also do uh, this you can you can just uh, play through this uh, side and you can get to know the exam cast and everything okay once you buy this and you can um, check the exam examination date and when you want to do the exam okay the available dates also and that's all about the examination is concerned okay um hope this is this is what is all about uh, the google cloud examination which i gave okay and apart from this i've also done a course in udemy that's uh, on flutter okay uh, the course was by let us by angelo okay so this course was also i think um, she gave uh end to end uh, knowledge on flutter development and it's it's very really very nice to you know uh, learn flutter it's it's not that uh, hard because if you know object oriented programming it's much easy to learn so that's what i felt and i can um, do some video on flutter as well um, down the line um, I'm also doing a course on Python uh, under this challenge. Okay, uh, this course is also by Angela. So I felt like after doing that course, I would like to go with the same author. So she is also good with um, the explanation and the assessment she gave. That's also very much you know um, understandable. In doing after doing that uh, assessment, it will be very much uh, understandable on each inch and every concept which she is explaining. Okay, so, and again, I'm saying this is not a promotion or something this is uh, what I'm learning so I felt like sharing it with you um, <clears throat> I would also encourage you to do uh, the courses but uh, whenever you get time at least you can spend one hour a day uh, going forward I will be uh, posting more videos uh, it's uh, I also felt like I didn't, I'm not posting any videos uh, for a long time so I got pulled into some other work the personal and 
hope i'll post more videos in future and if you have any doubts in uh, gcp certification you can very well, well contact me um or you can um put in comments whatever doubts you have so once you do the exam you will be uh, getting the screen whether you are pass or fail once you pass you will be getting this certificate uh, through a link okay uh, in that link you will also be getting a badge that you can put in your signature that you are a certified whatever associate or digital leader or a professional architect okay um that's that's all about today um i hope this uh this at least helped you in some way thank you um we'll see you in next video